Discover the best 1911 pistols of 2024. Embrace yourself for the number one option that'll take your breath away. We'll even be talking about a custom 1911 that costs just $1,498. Springfield Armory Mill Spec. Springfield Armory produces outstanding firearms, despite the fact that many people believe that they could do less stamping on them. The mill spec has no extra wording on it, and it's a stunning firearm with a 5 inch barrel available in stainless steel or parkerized finish. The mill spec, like the 1911A1, has an arched mainspring housing that's lined for added grip. The front strap does not have a checkered pattern. The fit is perfect, and the finish appears to be properly done, with no extra slag or burrs on the side or frame to cause hang ups. If you truly want something special, Springfield offers various 1911s with severe checkering and grip compounds that stick to your skin like Velcro. It's a great gun. However, next on this list is a real bang for your buck. Springfield Garrison The Garrison, a relatively new addition to Springfield's catalog, has quickly established itself as one of the best value 1911s on the market today. But how did they achieve it? The Garrison has a stainless or stunning hot salt blued finish, a 5-inch match grade barrel, low profile 3 dot sights, check ring on the back strap, and an outstanding trigger. The 5 inch barrel is a match gray, hammer forged stainless steel barrel with a 1 16 inch twist in a traditional bushing system. And when you pick up a garrison, you feel like you're picking up a $1,500 1911, not a $750 one. They're available in 9mm and 45 ACP. And if you're looking for a beautiful pistol that won't break the bank with the shooting chops to match, then this is the one. Now, this is what I call lovely but the next one is a total destroyer. Rock Island Armory 1911. You cannot go wrong with the Rock Island if you want fairly accurate recreation of the original generation 1911. The original commander size is medium. If you simply want a 1911 and you don't have a lot of money, the GI is a good place to start. And because it's a GI model, it has GI sights. I mean, low profile, simple to draw, but not the finest. There are still plenty of choices for replacing them after that. And if you're looking for something a little more tactical, they have many alternative models at a reasonable price. This is the most popular section of guns. People save funds for these over time in order to obtain pistols that don't require any work, but they can still be personalized into a work of art. They're not flawless, and they're certainly not historically accurate. But the price and features make them the most cheap approximation of a vintage 1911 on the market. What an amazing gun! But how about a Kimber gun for next? Kimber Warrior. When you see words like warrior or tactical in the name of a firearm, you get an unsettling sensation that the marketing boys went a bit too far. In this case, however, Kimber lives up to the hype. This isn't simply a 1911 that might be used as a duty weapon. It was Sean's duty weapon for many years as a deputy sheriff. However, the Kimber Warrior, like many 1911 pistols, requires a steady diet of ammo and magazines. What makes it different from the others? The sweeping lines, beaver tail, slide serrations, subtle rail, and extended safety all scream usefulness, while the surrounding black is complemented by the matching silver trigger, skeletonized hammer, and barrel for an overall sophisticated, possibly urbane experience. Just wonderful. Wonderful. But this next one is deadly. Colt Delta Elite 10mm. If you live in a region where four-legged critters are a concern, enjoy hunting with a pistol or simply prefer the 10mm cartridge for self-defense, Colt's newly updated Delta Elite might be the gun for you. The Colt Delta Elite is a Series 80 model. What does it imply? In addition to manual safety features like the grip safety and slide stop, as well as automated safety features like the disconnector, hammer safety stop, and inertia firing pin, the Delta Elite has a firing pin lock. The firing pin will not go forward until the trigger is pulled. Most other self-defense cartridges for semi-automatic weapons outperform the legendary 10mm. While it is more expensive to shoot, it is quite adaptable if you reload your own ammunition. Please bear in mind that if the recoil of a 45 ACP or a 40 SW bothers you, you should avoid 10mm because it's even snappier. For an extra $200, you can obtain a Delta Elite with a Picatinny rail to mount a light or a laser below the 5 inch barrel. If we have added a Colt in this list, how can we leave out Smith & Wesson? <laughs> you guessed it right, I present to you the Smith & Wesson. SW 1911 SCE series. For those looking for an excellent mid size carry 1911, check out the 4.25 inch Commander SW 1911 SCE dash series. The E series 1911 replaces the conventional steel or aluminum frame with a lighter scandium alloy frame. 
The gun includes gorgeous rosewood tips with the same fish scale pattern as the slide, as well as a wonderful small diamond with the letter E to remind us that this is an enhanced 1911. We all love the skeletonized lightweight jobs like the trigger and hammer. When caught, the hammer settles well into a, the beaver tail, and the trigger pull is 4.9 pounds, with 0.0125 take up and a crisp, clean break. Other great features include titanium night sights, unique fish scale front and rear side serrations, checkered front and back straps, ambidextrous thumb safety, and a rounded butt for added concealability. These characteristics, combined with the commander length barrel, make this one of our top options for individuals serious about carrying a 1911 on a daily basis. Smith & Wesson lists them for roughly $1,500, which should translate to a street price of around $1,250. You know what other gun you need to get your hands on? This one right here. Dan Wesson Vigil Even though the Vigil is Dan Wesson's entry-level 1911, it's still superior to almost every other alternative in the same price range. Dan Wesson is well known in the 1911 world for producing some of the greatest out-of-the-box pistols without the high cost of a real custom gun. The main spring housing is checkered at 25 lines per inch, with a well-fitting classic grip safety above it. To save weight, the hammer's been skeletonized. The front strap is also highly serrated, and the checkered MSH textured shocks aid in maintaining a firm grip on the handgun during recoil. The Vigil is shown to be dependable and precise. If the full-size 45 auto ain't your thing, the Vigil is also available in 9mm Luger and Commander sizes, so you have options. This next one is just, um, <clears throat> OMG. <laughs> Wilson Combat CQB If you have the money and you want the best, choose the Wilson CQB Tactical LE. Wilson Combat is renowned for high-quality 1911 components and 1911s. The CQB is a full-size 1911A1 that features a carbon steel frame and slide for maximum strength and durability. It's also available with an accessory rail or an aluminum frame plus an accessory rail. But the all-steel CQB is Wilson's combat standard bearer and the best seller. People who want to enhance their guns or simply have high-quality magazines turn to Wilson. One aspect of the barrel and bushing fit that has changed is the absence of a barrel extension past the bushing. The front blade is outfitted with a fiber optic rod, which has also become a popular side option in recent years, so you may take use of the light channeling advantage to improve your aim. The frame has also benefited from recent upgrades. The 1911 is a game changer here, but this next gun is a little bit more superior. <laughs> Vickers Tactical Masterclass 1911. This is a badass gun that's brought to you by Wilson Combat, Larry Vickers, and Springfield Armory. The Vickers Masterclass is unquestionably a mission-oriented gun. The gun has been modernized and polished for warfare from the sights to the trigger and beyond. The combat-oriented features set this gun apart from the standard 1911. Wilson Combat has furious enhancements in this gun that most people have to add after purchasing a gun, but it comes standard in this model. The trigger, hammer, and other features have been improved over what you would ordinarily get, and we, let me tell you, we love it. The sights are one of the better modifications, featuring a Vickers Elite blacked out rear sight and a high visibility day and night sight in the front. They're quick to acquire and simple to aim, and if you're willing to spend this much money, then this should be on your short list. Now, drum roll please. On number one, we have Les Bear Premium 2. The Les Bear Premium 2 might be the gun for you if you're seeking for a true custom-grade 1911. Les Bear has been a force in the 1911 world for decades, and is widely regarded as one of the best handgun builders in the world. The Premier 2 is no different. Now, the Premier 2 is just the ultimate master stripped of all the extra features. It has the same hard-fit slide slash frame slash barrel treatment, the same adjustable sights with serrated rear blade placed in hidden leaf cut, the same blued steel finish, Ambidextrous safety lever, speed trigger, and front strap covered with the hand-cut 30 LPI checkering, and the same front strap covered with hand-cut 30 LPI checkering. Les Bear Premium 2 is priced at $1,498. The Premium 2 is placed at just at the low end of the custom 1911 price range, but is a, is a hard fit. Has adjustable sights with rear installed and a hidden leaf cut, and it's great feed reliability, features front and rear slide cocking serrations, and a checkered front strap, and it has fine accuracy and great looks. And that sounds like a winning combination if you ask me. That sounds like a, a stew that I'd eat, you know? The, the 1911 pistol is a stunning firearm with a long history dating back to over a century. If you're new to the game, this should help you decide which one to add to your collection. What was your favorite gun on the list? Let us know in the comment section down below. And subscribe if you want to see more.